Chris from Chris Tech TV here. I just want to let you know that the new PL3 payload for PS Freedom has been released for iPod Touch 1st Gen and iPhone 2G and 3G. Um, what this new PL3 payload does is it enables diskless support so you don't need a Blu-ray in your drive anymore to play a game. Um, it's also a lot more stable and supports more games than the uh, Hermes V3 payload supported. Um, also something new, it supports game updates and also PSN package support. Now there are a couple of things that you're going to need to get this payload onto your device. You're going to need the uh, Gaia Backup Manager. Um, that's a new backup manager that's compatible with this payload. And then also for your computer you're going to need WinSCP and then you're going to need OpenSSH on your iPod Touch or iPhone and you'll get that out of Cydia. So let's go ahead and get started here. So I've already downloaded the package files for my iPod Touch first generation. So I've got them right here. I've got the Android image file and the Z image file. Those will look familiar, especially if you've already jailbroken your uh, PS3 before. So we need to go ahead and open up WinSCP here and make sure that your iPod Touch is on. So once we have WinSCP up, you're going to go ahead and connect to your iPod Touch's IP address, which in my case it's 192.168.2.37. Now the username is always going to be root, R-O-O-T, and the password is always going to, going to be Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, and I'll put this down in the description for you guys. Um, we're going to connect under the file protocol, um, SCP, and just go ahead and click on login once you've done that. Now you're always going to get this error, that's okay, don't freak out, just click on OK. And it's going to load up all the files here that are on your iPod Touch or iPhone. So where we want to go here is just click on VAR. And you'll notice down at the bottom we're going to have the android.img file and the zm image files. Go ahead and why don't, we, why don't we go ahead and copy these. So just highlight both of them and drag them out to your desktop. And put those somewhere where you'll know that, where they are. That way if you decide that you want to go back to that original payload, if you have problems with this one, you can just go right back to it by dragging those files back onto your iPhone or iPod Touch. So once you have gotten rid of them, go ahead and highlight them both and delete them. And now we're going to go ahead and move over our new ones. So we'll go ahead and open up this PL3 folder. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight both of them. And I'm going to go ahead and drag them on to my iPod Touch. And you're going to press copy. This just takes a few seconds to copy over. All right, now that that's finished, all you want to do is just check the permissions on the files to make sure that they're read and write. If they're not, which it looks like they aren't in my case, you just want to go ahead and right click on them. So we'll do the android.img file first. And we go to properties. And we just want to change this to 0777. And then press OK. And then you want to do the same for the Z image file. So we're going to go ahead and do 0777. Press OK. And now the new files for the payload are on my iPod Touch. And I'm going to go ahead and close out of WinSCP. And then all you do after that is just take your iPod or iPhone over to your PS3 and you just go ahead and run the exploit like you normally would and you'll notice that you don't have to have a Blu-ray in the drive. Also you should see that it'll support more games and also that you um, will have support for updates so you can now download the game updates like when it tells you there's an update available for your game and you can also install PSN packages. So that's it, it's pretty simple. So. Let me know how this goes for you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below. If you have any problems too, you can leave some comments down there. Send me a PM. Check out the ChrisTechTV.com website. Uh, go to the forums. I'll have some support for you on there. But um, sorry if this tutorial wasn't as great as what they normally are. It's like 2 a.m., but I really just wanted to get this video out for you guys, so I'm super tired. So I will see you guys in the next video.